Hey guys, today we are going to talk about Modern Masters 2017, where the box prices are, where they may be going, and as well as single prices. The key for Modern Masters 2017 is the prices for the boxes keep going down. They are now sub 200 most places. This particular place is miniature exchange and it is with shipping. So if you bought the box for 185, it would come with free shipping. Now I've seen boxes for anywhere around 178, 180. That's not a uncommon price for a box. And if you buy a case, I believe the case is, I'll check on it, but it's like 720 or something. So you have a tiny bit of savings on the case as well. So it's crazy to see the prices where they are. It is a month removed, but should there be a second print run or a second distribution run, no matter how you want to classify it, these prices will go down all the way to 160, 165. If there is not a second run, I think 180 is probably the lowest you're going to see a box at, and they will slowly go up in time. This is very different from what happened to Modern Masters 1, where the price of the, the MSRP of the box and the price of the actual money that you would pay for a box, the MSRP was much less. You had boxes at $300, which mimics what happened with Eternal Masters. If this is any, if we were to learn anything from this box in the history of this box, it's do not buy boxes 30 days when they are released. Wait, especially if you don't have the ability to sell these singles into the market really fast. And you don't. I can tell you uh, an individual buyer versus a store or versus a person who gets their boxes a week, two weeks in advance, has no chance of selling these singles for the maximal price of the pre-order price because those larger stores get to open their product earlier and they have everything shipped out to you the same day. You might wonder why, how is that the case? It's the same reason that a YouTuber can have a video of you know, the new product the day before or the same day, although they recorded it the day before, everyone gets product early. And if you're trying to sell into the market with even a YouTuber getting product early quite easily, it's not going to be good. So if you get your product Friday, even at midnight, and then you open all your packs, then you send them off for sale, that's already too late. Somebody's already had it Wednesday. Someone's already had it Monday. Someone's already had it a week ago. And this is not just me telling you this, it's the truth. So the single prices, you're never going to be one of those people who can open a box super duper early and then get really good prices on the singles. That market is absolutely, there's too many people there. There's too many people opening boxes too early. It's the honest truth. So the only price that really matters for the average consumer is where is this box going to head? Like it's 185 now. I bought the box for 220. It's dropped. Is it still going to drop? $35 on a box at 180 is a lot, right? That's not a small amount of money, especially if you bought cases at 220. And to see the cases at the current prices, this is a premier product. Like when Modern Masters released, they had the from the vault effect where yes, the MSRP says $34.99, but people are going to pay $60 for it. People are going to pay $70 for it. And when we talk about from the vault effect, that was the Modern Masters, the booster packs were $6.99 MSRP, but stores were easily able to sell them for $10 to $12. And that's the memory. That's a That's what the that's why people are buying these boxes when they came out at 240, 250. Uh, there is a local game store in Houston trying to sell this box when it came out for 250. And why would anyone buy for 250 when you can get for 185? Shipped to your door with tracking and everything from a very reputable website.
And the answer is they were not. No one's going to pay 65 extra dollars just because they want to burn money. And when we when we talk about so you can get a case for 720 which is that's not bad. It's about 180 a box. Is that 180 a box? So 720 divided by 720 divided by 4 it's 180 a box. Shipping, free shipping. I don't see these prices going up anytime. Like maybe after 90 days, they will, and there's no announcement of a second print run. Yes, there, there will be some life on these boxes. But right now, as of today, it is a bad time to buy Modern Master boxes. I know multiple people selling them for around 180, 185. And it's such a stark contrast to when they first came out in stores in Houston, particularly one in Humble, wanted 250 or 240 for it. They wanted four MSRP. And I was like, you know, you're going to be sitting on these boxes and no one's going to buy them. And then eventually they'll get cheap and people will just buy them online. But that's the mentality that a lot of people have is with this product if i sit on it it will only go up in price that's not true that is a very if you're a store that is not a great use of your assets you get these for 140 selling them at 185 you would have sold all of them at that price point but now like even if a store the same store offered me 185 i would probably say no because i want to wait i i haven't I don't believe this is the low point yet, especially given the unknown, which is the second run. If there is a second run, 185 is definitely not the low point. We could be seeing one sub 170, sub 165. Overall, buying boxes for a regular person is it's not a good deal. It's just not a good deal. If you want to play with them and you want to draft with them, that makes sense. But if you wanted to hold them for and hope that they increase in money, these are huge stores and they're liquidating. That should tell you a lot, right? These are huge distribution networks. They are liquidating. That should tell you a lot. So follow the money. Never follow what someone says, especially if they're trying to sell it to you. Always follow what they are doing. So if this product in three years is $300, why would anyone sell it to you for 180 right now? Like, right? If it was so guaranteed, if it was with such certainty that this product would keep going up in price and not drop anymore, then people would just buy this and be like, okay, cool. And this is not a store that has like one or two boxes for sale. This is miniature market, huge, huge retailer, and something that has really good prices all the time. So my overall gut feeling about this is. 2017, I'm not going to buy cases. I'm just going to wait and see. And waiting and seeing is probably the best uh, scenario for me because everything from RTR and everything newer than RTR has been an absolute fail in terms of speculation for boxes. It's just not been good. Like there's no other way to put it is that you can get RTR boxes for $80 shipped to you. RTR was a very push set. Abrupt Decay, reprinted. Revelation, reprinted. Uh, Death Rite Shaman, reprinted. Shockland, not yet reprinted, but soon to be. So it's a player's game and you have to treat it as such. Therefore, these boxes should not be selling for as much as I can't imagine anyone buying this box for 240. If you did buy for 240, just remember it for next time and be like, nah, you know, if you don't really need a box right there to open with your friends and draft, just remember it next time because just wait a month and it'll drop to 185. This is that's what Eternal Masters did. It's Eternal Masters at one point dropped to 170 after the second print run. That's what every other new set will do. And there's more than enough retailers online. And this is another discussion I want to have. Because a lot of YouTubers are now promoting online retailers instead of supporting your local store. Because that's the way it is, right? It's digital. Whoever gives you the best sponsorship, you're going to promote them. And I... It's interesting discussion. Um, leave me a comment if you do want to hear my personal opinion. Obviously, 
it's going to offend some YouTubers. I don't, I'm currently sponsored by no one. Maybe like those box sponsorships, but I, I doubt like they make much of a difference. They just give me a free box of stuff that I give away to the children in my neighborhood. And also, I kind of sad news, but I'm not going to tell you guys about it until later. Bye.